Namaste guys, I want to talk today about Taurus Rising and if you're a Taurus Rising, this video is for you. If you have a friend or family member that's a Taurus Riser, then this is also a video for you. It'll give you, it'll be a guide for you to know how to deal with them, okay? Um, Taurus Rising people, they're very will-driven, all right? They, we can learn perseverance and patience from these people. And there are three predominantly emotions that govern the, the Taurus riser, which is uh, worry, success, and failure. Worry is when um, they're worried about a certain situation that they can't get out of their mind and they don't know how to communicate it, okay? And they're like struggling and it's totally a, a nerve-wrecking situation that usually the Taurus risers go through. Um, the second one is success. It's when they get over that feeling, okay? And um, they, they learn how to deal with it by applying um, emotional energy, by applying physical energy, by applying mental energy, by applying uh, spiritual energy, and they could actually come to a certain conclusion in their head or idea to overcome that worry that they always feel most of the time, okay? Um, and then the next one is failure. Failure means that sometimes they have to pause and they have to reassess the situation, okay? Because sometimes plan A didn't work, okay? So now they have to go to plan B and they're thinking about it, okay? And they feel like a failure inside. And that's something that, that the Taurus risers have to, to learn how to conquer, okay, most of the time. The Taurus are very stubborn. The way they deal with possessions is that they like to, they, they like to have a lot of things, okay? And that's, it's a very possessive sign, you know, Taurus is a very possessive sign. So when Gemini falls in the second house, it means a multitude of possessions, okay? Taurus has Cancer on the third house. And when Cancer occupies a third house, means that uh, Taurus could be very, you know, smooth and slow talkers because Cancer is in the third house of communication. Cancer is a very slow sign. It's a very placid sign. So when Taurus talks, it's very patient, you know, it's not too rushed, okay? Taurus rising has Leo in the fourth house of privacy, family, and home. What this means is that they like stability. Whenever they meet someone, they like someone to say, you know what, my family's been living there for so many years already. Because they want to know that that person is stable. Okay, that will impress them. They want to see a family tree. They want to see evidence. Okay, they want to see something solid. So when you have a Leo in the fourth house, that it shines. That is the most important thing, stability. Taurus rising has Virgo in the fifth house, meaning that when they have fun, it has to be clean, it has to be nurturing, they like nature, okay? That's what they find fun in nature, and Virgo is the sign of nature. It's the sign of Mother Earth, okay? So whenever they want to go on a date or something, you could take them out on a picnic or in a park, and they will totally appreciate it. Taurus rising needs balance in the routine. It cannot be rushed, okay? and they cannot be slowed down. They have to go on their pace. And that's why Libra falls, okay, in their sixth house of health and routine, okay? Everything has to be balanced with these people when it comes to routine, okay? Scorpio, okay, Scorpio falls in their seventh house. They need a person that is deep. It's gonna help them get over their lower self because Taurus could be very um, inclined to deal a lot with the with the with the base chakra with the sacral chakra with the lower chakras okay because they they're prone to um to sensuality but scorpio masters sexuality so uh, they need they need to understand they need to understand a deeper aspect of a relationship so they need someone who would teach them how to get in touch with the inner self okay instead of being too focused on the outer self taurus rising has sagittarius in the eighth house meaning that when it comes to intimacy they go all out Okay, there's no ifs or buts, it's just completely free, freedom. If they could go skinny dipping, they would do it because um, they're very, when it comes to the eighth house, that's where Sagittarius falls, that freedom loving sign, okay? They love nakedness. They love the naked body, okay? And that's freedom. And that falls in the eighth house of intimacy, of hidden stuff. Capricorn falls in their ninth house of knowledge, of higher knowledge. So they could be very stubborn, okay? That's another stubborn sign. When it comes to learning something new, okay? It's very difficult for them to adapt to new philosophies, okay? Other than the ones they were brought up with, okay? So if you have a Taurus rising friend you, and you're explaining metaphysics, then it might be a little difficult for them to comprehend, okay? Or accept it. 
Um, Aquarius fall in their 10th house of reputation, meaning that they're always trying to find a way of improvement in their work, okay? And uh, this is why a lot of Taurus gets a lot of good reputation for being a hard worker, okay? Because their reputation for being a Taurus rising is that, is that they always try to find new methods of improvement, okay? And that's Aquarius in the 10th house. Pisces falls in the 11th house, okay? They could be a little shy, okay, when it comes to being social, okay? A little bit awkward, probably. And um, they could be more reserved than usual than the other people when it comes to, you know, the social setting for the, for the Taurus risers, okay? Now, for Taurus riser, Aries falls in the 12th house of the unknown. And what is Aries? Aries is energy, okay? And when you have it in the 12th house, it's very reserved, okay? So an obstacle that Taurus might face in their life is not taking the lead because that's what Aries is and it's hidden in the, in the 12th house. That's most of the problems that they have. Um, they're very good in following directions and doing the hard work, but to be able to come up with an original idea, okay, and do, you know, and do something out of, out of, you know, out of the sun from inside, it's quite difficult and that's where they find that struggle, okay, in the, in the 12th house. So I hope you enjoyed this video and namaste.